for ASP.net. All right. Yes? Does it matter what version of Visual Studio? Does it? 2010, 2010. Uh, not drastically. Um, I'll, we'll have to look to see what is in our lab. Um, there is DreamSpark where you can get many of these tools for free. So if you don't have Visual Studio, you could obtain it that way. Um, but, but the only issue would be potential some compatibility if you're working between home and, and here. That would Business be, building has 2012 now. Business building has 2012 now. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we're going to take a step back and look at our first assignment and talk about what I want you to do for it. Your first assignment, we're not creating a dynamic page yet. But I do want to use this first assignment, first assignment to sort of orient you to using um, Visual Studio Dynamic. So let's look at your first assignment. This is like this is like the first assignment in like almost all my classes. Some variation of this. Create a web page that gives an overview of the main topics of this class. So create a web page that could be used to explain to people looking at this class, what we do in this class. What are the main topics for this class? Well, the main topics are ASP.NET, database design, and SQL. So do some research. All right. I say find two references and two resources. Um, the difference between a reference and resource, I realize, is kind of arbitrary. Find like four websites about these things. All right, we'll make it simple. Now, I want you to create a web page, but I want you to use Visual Studio to do so. And I want you to get used to using Visual Studio, even if you're proficient coding in HTML. Because if you know HTML, this assignment is, you know, a 15-minute job, probably. All right? Go find some pages, create some links, apply a nice, pretty CSS file to it. So really, the main purpose of this assignment is getting you used to Visual Studio. So let's go and let's explore Visual Studio. All right? And let's create a little web application in Visual Studio. Um, similar to what you'll do for this assignment. So, I'm going to sit here for the next while and try to find the start button here in Windows 8. <laughs> Wait a minute, what was that? You, you're close. Oh, we have this. Oh my god, it's right. Am I the only one that wasn't confused by this at all? I'm not, confu I'm not confused by it. Um, there it is. See it? They want, uh, they, want, they want your computer to look like a tablet. So that's why it's like this. And for us old timers, they do give you a desktop that, that increases your comfort zone a bit. The new update Windows Blue or whatever, and actually you can set it all exactly like Windows 7. Right. Just like it. That's always, that's always a good sign for a software development company where the first update makes it look like the old version, <laughs> right? That's a sign that they did something right, right? Okay, so I'm going to go in under File, New, and pick New Website, all right? So, It looks like Windows 8, but is it now Visual Studio 2012 that you're working on? This is 2012. Yes, 
Okay. All right. So I go in here and click to create a new website. All right. We have a choice uh, of doing a couple different things. All right. For this assignment, we're going to create an empty website. All right. We have other choices as well. Now, in this class, we're going to want our language to be Visual C Sharp. So, make sure that's selected. Now, we can put this website anywhere we want to on our machine. All right. So, I'm going to go and I'm going to put it on the desktop. And I'll call it um, first. All right. So I now go and I click OK. And away we go. Now, let's take a second to look at the folder that got created. Because even though it's, it, it, it sort of lied to us, because even though this is, quote, an empty website, it actually put a configuration file in it. it, it the configuration file is necessary. So there it is. It's the name that I gave it. I gave it the name of first. And if I open this folder, I see there is a web config file. Now, one thing I, I urge you to do as developers, and this is true whether this is this class or, or any other class uh, that I teach, is turn your file extensions on, which <coughs> options, which would involve clicking off hide extensions for known file types. So we see that the file it created is web.config. We will put stuff in there that we want to use through our, throughout our web application. This is sort of a configuration file that contains parameters. For example, when we get into databases later on, about maybe halfway through the course, we'll put in this file our connection strings to the database. That way, everything's in one place, right? And we don't have to, if we change something, we can just change it in one place. So let's look at this config file and see what's in it. And really, not much is in it. All right, this is simply saying that we are using the framework version 4.5 of this. As we go along in the class, we'll, we'll add more stuff in here. All right, so we now want to add a web page to this. So we'll go up to File, New, File. And we have a choice of what we want to create. All right. We want to create a simple web page. So the terminology for that is we want to create a web form. All right. <clears throat> what name do we want to give it? Well, typically, your first page your home page, if you will, for an application should be called default.aspx. So we're going to leave it at that. <laughs> we're going to want to put our code in a separate file. So we want this option always to be checked. Select master page. We haven't done anything with master pages yet, so we'll ignore that one for now. 
I can click add and there I go I have my web page that I can edit now I can edit it in three different ways I can I can view it in three different ways one way is a source view which is just like uh, a text editor with the advantage that it provides you IntelliSense. So for example, if I go A, it shows me a list of all the attributes that are relevant for A. So if I can't remember what a link is, I can go A href, yeah, equals put that in. And it does nice things like it puts the ending tag in for you. So you always have this to rely on. You can also view in design view, whereas you have a little drag and drop interface. So I could go in and drag this link over here and then go and set the attributes of that link down here for under properties. Or I can click split and I can see both the different views of this. Now I can go and open this up and debug it in any number of browsers. I'm going, I'm opening my page up in Chrome. And there's my web page. Notice something. Notice that the first part of the URL is localhost colon 1358. That is a development web server. All right. Remember, these are server-side scripting pages. You have to access them through a web server. I can't simply go out through the file system like I did in CISS 216. Oh, here's my web page. Let me go and let me open it up in... Let me open it up in Google. Doesn't know anything about that. Right? Doesn't know anything. Browser, you know, what we're trying to do is we're trying to give you a recipe instead of a sandwich. We're giving you the instructions to make a web page and not the web page. You have to run the web page through a server for it to come up correctly. And the way you do that is you click on this. It automatically starts a development server that's built into Visual Studio, and it processes the web page, and it displays it for you. Which one did you hit again? I hit that. Now, there's some extra things in this version that didn't exist in earlier versions, but again, this process that I went through today would be relevant even on earlier versions. 
All right, couple couple differences, um, but for the most part, if you're running an earlier version of Visual Studio, it will look a lot like this. So when you are done, let's say you are completed with the assignment. All right, you've gone in and you've created your web page and you've tested it and everything looks okay. What you need to do is you need to zip up this whole folder and send that to me. Can't just zip up the web page. Because notice for that web page, even though we didn't do anything with it, there's a ASPX.CS file for code. We'll talk about that more in upcoming weeks. And there's also the web config file. So really you need all of them. So you might as well just go in and zip up this folder and send that to me. Now if I want to go and do that again, if I wanted to open that again, I would go in and say, instead of saying new website, uh, I'd say open website, and I would navigate to that folder. and click open. And then I can continue to work on it and make changes to it and test it. When, it's, when it gives you a local host number like 1389, mm -hmm. is that the port? The no idea. Access? Probably. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what that's what the number after the colon means. How it comes up with that number, I don't know. But yeah, that, that's that's the port. The random, the random Pro, yeah, and near as I know is right. Because if I remember uh, right from before, it wasn't that number the last time we did it. It wasn't 1389, it was something else. Yes? I know uh, Nora used to tell us in her programming classes every time you debug it saves, is that going to go the same with this? Everything it Every time you run I believe, yeah, I believe it saves your work prior to running the debug. Yeah. Okay. So your your task for lab today is is one of two things. You you you, you could either start doing the investigation uh, and, and finding the resources associated with those three topics that that um, are for this assignment, and or you can start playing around with Visual Studio. All right, and experimenting with it and creating web pages with that. Questions? Is this due Thursday? Is due, yeah. And it's, it's funny because sometimes I feel, well, I try not to be, I try not to be a smart aleck all the time. But I legitimately don't remember when things are done. And so usually when people ask me those questions, I'll say, you know, it says it on Angel, whatever it says on Angel. Oh, okay. So do, yeah, review on Angel. Or, yeah, in this class, since each assignment has its own due date, review on Angel. Because I, I really, I can't keep track of it. No, that's fine. No, 